Hi everyone, it's Nicole Spore and welcome back to my channel. It's time for a Stamp Timber exclusive limited edition with the Honey Bee Stamps Stamp Timber 2022 stamp set called Warm Wishes. I am going to be pairing this with a new product from the Simon Says Stamp release called Ornament Options. And I'm gonna use the dies. There are stamps as well, but we're just gonna use the dies today. I have die cut all the components I need on some smooth white cardstock. I have die cut them from smooth white cardstock and acetate, I'm so sorry. You can see them there up above. I'll talk a little bit more about those as I stamp the backers for my tags. I'm also gonna stamp all the images from the Warm Wishes stamp set on a piece of smooth white cardstock using Hero Arts Intensified Black Ink. Now, unfortunately, I didn't realize that my video camera was not zoomed out quite enough. I zoomed out a bit, but not enough. I am die cut from the white cardstock and these great ornament options dies. There is a backer, what I call the backer piece, the big solid piece, not the frame. We need two white cardstock panel or ornaments from that, one and one from acetate. From the frame, we need only one, and then I did die cut the leaves. So two solid white cardstock, one solid acetate, one white frame, and one leaf for each. Then for the backer, you could stamp this just on the back of the background piece, but I really find that an extra step of um, die cutting at one extra background just sandwiches it much nicer. I think it looks a lot more clean and finished that way. I am stamping greetings from Warm Wishes on each of these with Simon Says Stamp Positively Saturated Inks in Cherry and Pine. So very traditional colors. I love the size of the sentiments. If you use these on cards, they are going to be the perfect big bold sentiment. So many options. Um, this the script greetings are Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Warm Wishes, and Seasons Greetings with lots of other greetings scattered in. My goal with my Stamp Timber videos this year is to incorporate and include product that will be available even after the Stamp Timber exclusive sells out. Remember with the exclusives, once they're gone, they're gone. But this same idea could be used with other stamp sets that you might already have in your stash. And so I hope that it inspires you to maybe try making some of your own gift tags with this new ornament set or an ornament set that you have. With my stamped little images here from the Warm Wishes set, I am going to simply color in all the images I stamped here. And what I'm doing is I have three the three trees the packages, the sled, a bench, two snowmen, two hats, and two scarves. I'm gonna be building three little mini scenes. I'm like, this is like a make it mini series. I love little gift tags. If you guys have followed me for any length of time, or even if you haven't, check out my tags playlist here on my channel, my handmade holiday series, or a year of Christmas series for more tag ideas. I am a huge tag fan. I love creating them. To me, it's almost like a little mini scene, um, not card per se, but it's, it's like creating a little mini scene on a card, but just on something uh, decorative, and I love it. These are so much fun. So not only would this set, stamp set be incredible for cards, but it does make really, really cute gift tags. And I figured while I already had everything out, let's just go ahead and make multiple. That's my motto. Let's just always make several. I'm coloring my, image, my images in with Copic markers. Um, the colors I'm using are link, listed, not linked, they're listed down in the description below the video here on YouTube and underneath the photo from the link to my blog, which also can be found in the description if you need more information. If you're interested in this stamp set, I highly recommend picking it up right when you see it as again, once they're gone, they're gone. And that's gonna be all month long for any of the Stamp Timber exclusives that I show you here on my channel. For the white package, I used some warm grays and just kind of blended it out. 
And then I will be going back with my warm gray marker and adding some little polka dots because I feel like gift packages are the perfect opportunity to add some embellishment. You may notice that after I colored in the green package, I went back with my darkest color from that combo and drew in some little diagonal lines because who doesn't love a good green on green, tone on tone pa pattern or pattern paper? How about wrapping paper? Um, and then the little polka dot kind of ends up looking like a silver wrapping paper with a red bow cute little snowman these images are really the perfect size for tag makers not every stamp set really lends itself well to gift tags i would say um there's there's several companies that have a lot of smaller images but this is a really great one if you like making gift tags this is really fun or if you like building a scene on your card I could see that as well even let's say a slimline scene if you wanted to incorporate all these images I think a slimline scene would be very very cute the hat in this set also is a, a little bit different than the regular top hat and I kind of appreciated that so I colored mine differently I didn't do a black hat and I like how it turned out a little bit of blue around the edges of the snowman or snowmen to give them that icy cool finish. And then I will die cut these. I do want to mention before anyone asks, I had to use my brother's scan and cut. The dies did not arrive to me um, in time to use. They are available as a set uh, stamp die combo at Simon Says Stamp. And again, when it's gone, it's gone. And then you can buy the stamp set individually that way, if you want to fussy cut, mask, or if you have a scan and cut or something similar, you can do that as well. So all of my cards will be, not all of my cards, but my card here, or my tags here, were die cut with the scan and cut, these images were. I always like to let you guys know ahead of time. So there I have die cut them all because the dies might not line up with what you see, um, how my scan and cut cut them either. Now we're going to take the acetate layers and I can do two at once with the border die. Something I really love in this stamp set is that there is a falling snow border and then there's also a little cluster of snowflakes, which I ended up not using the cluster of snowflakes. I'm going to use the border and I am going to simply move my acetate circles up a little bit to do two lines of this border. If you're making a card, you could move that little uh, snowy border down and create a, an entire snowfall background. I really, really like this. I am using white stays on ink. On acetate, you are going to have to use a solvent ink so that it dries and does not smear and it will dry instantly if you make a mistake you can take stamp cleaner and a uh, i usually use a microfiber cloth or you could use even a like a paper towel and you can remove it make sure that your um acetate is dry and you can restamp it so you don't really um lose anything but it's not going to rub off it's not going to smear so make sure you're using a solvent ink like stays on and i only have white and black i use white 90 95 percent of the time but we're using both today on the backer of our scene so this is the other solid white ornament i am taking my color of the season i'm calling it this is my color of the holiday season iced spruce this is not a new distress color you guys at all but it is the color i have found myself reaching for over and over i absolutely love it for a snowy background I'm going to ink up most of the ornament. I'm going to leave the bottom edge white to kind of give it the look of a snowy sky and this is the snow on the ground. Now, of course, even though we've got the falling snow on the acetate, I feel like this background piece needs some falling snow. So I have got some white gouache that I added a little water to to make it spread easier and I'm going to tap that all over my ornaments and let it air dry. It's going to dry really, really quickly. While I'm waiting for it to dry, I'm going to take some green markers and I am going to color in these leaves from our set. This is the same set that the ornament comes from. There's also some little berries, but I'm going to use an embellishment for my berries instead of the die cut. And there's a snowflake as well. This is a really, really great 
stamp die combo or you can get them individually. It's called Ornament Options from Simon Says Stamp and CZ Design. So Kathy designed this. It's really, really cool. I love it. Okay, I think we're almost ready to put it all together. I'm gonna lay out my images and maybe even start adhering them just to make sure that all of my little scenes are gonna be built perfectly. You can see the acetate when I lay it over, how cute that looks. I am going to take the With Love greeting from the stamp set. So on the back, we have our bigger greeting, like wishing you happy holidays from our family to yours, or the, Mer the season's greeting from our family to yours, or Merry Christmas, whatever the case may be. On this, I want, on the front, I wanna have the little With Love. So I am going to stamp the With Love for each of these. Now, I didn't really stamp that exactly where I wanted, so I did take a little stamp cleaner and very carefully, because I don't wanna wipe away the white stays on, the snow, I did wipe away the With Love and I am going to redo that. So let me put everything back in my Misty. Let's make sure that we have our frame. Let's go ahead and adhere everything first. That's kind of where I went wrong. I'll show you how I figured this all out. I need to make sure that my I'm avoiding my frame. We're gonna outfit our snowman and the first one, he is standing in front of the bench with the falling snow. So I am going to take this layer and put that whole thing in my Misty. I want to make sure the With Love avoids the frame. I don't want part of it to be underneath. So I think it looks cute right there. I'm gonna go ahead and remove everything else and keep the acetate in my Misty. Stamp the With Love with Black Stays On ink and then we're going to glue that little skinny white frame to the front of our acetate. This is also gonna hide the adhesive. I'm gonna use acrylic blocks a ton here to help hold everything nice and flat, to help hold it down and make it nice and secure. Surprisingly enough, I think my favorite tag might actually be the sled with the presents, not the snowman. I couldn't fit the snowman into this one, and so I thought, well, a little sleigh or a little sled with the presents is really, really cute, and then the last one's gonna be some trees with a snowman. I love them all, truly. They're just so much fun. And I'm trying to avoid that outer edge for the most part. The sleigh was the only thing, or sled was the only one that was kind of hard to do that with, but it doesn't bother me. So that I'm not trying to get everything to adhere because there are a few layers. And then I'm gonna glue the greenery up to the top of the ornament and glue a backer on, which just sandwiches it all really nicely. And then acrylic blocks. Lots and lots of acrylic blocks. Let's hold everything down and hold it flat. Now that I know that I like this design, I'm gonna go ahead and start stamping with love on the other two acetate covers. And it ended up being in the perfect spot for all three. I stamped all three with the Black Stays On ink, cleaned it up, and put it away. We're going to adhere all the remaining layers for the final two gift tags with our white outline right over the acetate. And then on the back of the acetate, following the same outline of the frame, we are gonna glue that to our scene. I'm gonna do that for all three tags. You could make as many of these as you want. Maybe this you want this to be your set of gift tags for the year. We're gonna put the backers on the remaining two and then if I didn't get adhesive on a certain couple of places, you can always do that now as well, which both tags, I did not do the best job gluing them down, so I fixed that. I'm gonna add the greenery to the top of each ornament and this ornament, if you don't want to stamp the greeting on the back, you could put this entire ornament on the front of your card if you wanted to. That would be a fun idea as well. These are some pretty pink posh cherry red pearls. They're my favorite. I'm going to do a trio of those in the center of the greenery as a fun embellishment. I like adding just a little something unexpected to my gift tags, and I think this it just fits the bill. It's really cute. You could use the coordinating die and die cut your own, but it is super teeny tiny, and I like a little dimensional embellishment, if at all possible. 
So we're going to pick up three of those, pop them in the center. And I love it. I think it's so cute. We're going to finish each gift tag with some lawn trimmings twine. This is from Lawn Fawn. It's my favorite. I love using it for gift tags. Probably 90% of the time, this is what I use for gift tags. I love it in all of the colors. This is kind of the gold sparkle. I'm going to add a little heart accent right underneath with love to each gift tag. And my gift tags featuring the Honey Bee Stamps with Love limited edition exclusive for Stamp Timber 2022 are all finished. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this trio of snowmen and present gift tags. The supplies I use to create my tags are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. I have linked to another video featuring an acetate layering idea that you might be interested in. I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to my Patreon members. If you would like to become a member of Patreon, please click the link in the description below. We would love to see you over there as part of our growing community. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, click that like button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to always be notified when I have a new card making video. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I appreciate you all so very much and we will see you again next time.